Hello, one and all. This is MJTR with Halfway Beret Productions. Or if you're possibly one of the people on McLeod Gaming, this is Ziku, a uh, longtime contributor to the forum. Here showing off just a little bit of the work I've done on a little something I'm calling the Resurrection of Spike Man. Uh, basically, the long and short of it is, is this video is showcasing the mods I've done thus far in editing Jigglypuff into McLeod Gaming's old pal Spike Man, who had a high-pitched voice, at least so far as I did him. Uh, you can't really hear it too well in this video, and I'm gonna have to turn it up anyway, but, um... I actually did redub a whole bunch of uh, Jigglypuff's lines with Spike Man's voice. Um, the last couple of, uh, about, about the last minute has been showing off various uh, things I've tossed in and edited. Uh, he's got the neutral stance, he's got a jump. I'm not quite sure how to handle the inflation in his jump just yet, but uh, I'll figure it out. Spike Man could fly canonically, so that's fine. Uh, here you see his uh, standard neutral combo, which is just a quick two-bite little thing. That was his side special, which I'll give a few better looks at here in a little bit. Um, for those who are uninformed, Spike Man was a character who was supposed to be in Smash Flash 2, but was pulled during a bit of a developmental rehaul. Um, I, I've just always wanted to bring him back because I thought he had a cool moveset. I was a personal friend of the creators. So as you can see, there's a lot of... there was a... He has got a nice little charge move for his side special where he turns into a little fireball and flies, taken from insane Spike Man's moveset. Uh, his running and his uh, side tilt are both tongue attacks, so when he runs really fast, he pole vaults with his tongue, and his side tilt uh, gives quick flick with his tongue, which is just hilarious so far as I'm concerned. Uh, that's his neutral special, which is, you know, kind of your standard hedgehog roll, which Spike Man could do canonically. Uh, there's still some technical hiccups with that. I'm still working that out. Uh, there's a number of issues I've fixed regarding this, including uh, his UI back on the main menu, which has uh, teeth that are see-through that turn transparent. There's his side special, which replaces Jigglypuff's pound. He multiplies his foot into three, another technique that was taken from Insane Spike Man. Uh, I'm working on um, how exactly Insane Spike Man is going to be incorporated into the final smash. Um, Jigglypuff's turning giant and puffing up is a bit of a tall order for me to try and fix with no real Flash experience. I'm a sprite guy. I don't know this stuff. But, you know, I, I'm learning. I already know a lot more about how this works now than I did when I got started. Um, I've got a couple of other projects on the way. Um, anyone who kind of knows me from old McLeod Gaming, there is an idea I'm toying with of a little something called FMZ Link, which is Link with blue jeans and high and drunk as balls. Um, Blade's hopefully going to make a reappearance. I'm thinking about modding him over Pikachu, but we'll see how that goes. And uh, that about covers it on the Spike Man mod at this time. I hope you've had a good time looking at it. I hope it hasn't been too much of an eyesore, and I hope I can continue to improve. Thanks for watching.